Hi, my name is Matthew Rachel, and I'm the president of the Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering Student Advisory Council here at Purdue University. You know, a lot of times I'll see prospective students and parents come to Purdue, and they have a lot of questions for the Aeronautics and Astronautics Department. And I feel as though the best way to really understand what this department's all about and what makes this place so great is through the voices of our students. So I hope you enjoy this video and our presentation. Aero 418 is a pretty cool design build test flight. My experience has been working with the Vomit Comet project. In that, I've been able to develop a proposal for an experiment with NASA. It, Purdue get, tends to get selected a lot, so this year I'll be flying an experiment looking at how water droplets flow in fuel cells, and we'll be flying our experiment out this July. If you want to fly in zero gravity, Purdue is a good school to go to. In aeronautics and astronautics, one of the great, great things about the labs that we have here are the facilities. As an undergraduate, students are able to conduct a lot of experiments in wind tunnels, in, in structures testing, in controls and dynamics testing. There's a lot of facilities outside of the classroom that students are able to further enhance and develop their knowledge by going outside the classroom and getting hands-on engineering. In addition to that, there are a lot of facilities that allow us to manufacture things when, it, when we are doing design projects. So downstairs in the basement of Armstrong Hall of Engineering, there's a fabrication lab that has CNC machines, that has a water jet, that has various machines and tools that allow students to go outside the classroom and build what they're designing. In addition to the machines, right across the way from the facility are computers that allow students to use CAD models and CAD rendering. Put their, put their ideas into the computer, put it on paper, if you will, and then literally in, in a couple of minutes they can start actually manufacturing and producing their idea by using some of the CNC machines and work that's right across the hall. So really the facility that's downstairs in the basement allows students to put their ideas and bring them to life. When, you, when you're solving problems for homework in like the actual lecture, um, you're working on a particular um, skill set. You know, you're solving a particular problem through mathematical equations. And then when you're doing labs and the lab reports, it's basically teaching you something different. I think that what's important uh, from the labs is you kind of get the real world engineering experience that you're going to get outside of college, while the, the classroom time gives you the, the baseline for understanding the applications that you're going to use. Rocketry is another big hobby amongst the students in the department. There's a lot of courses that allow you to study um, rockets and how they work in propulsion, rocket propulsion specifically, and dynamics. But really, it goes back to like what I said earlier, it goes back to hands-on engineering. So students have the ability to, to build rockets, to launch rockets at varying sizes from a couple of feet to about 16 feet. Um, big ones that go a couple of thousand feet in the air. I think here at Purdue students get a lot of opportunities to work on unmanned aerial vehicles especially for competition through AIAA with DBF or DBT, which is Design, Build, Fly or Design, Build, Test. And some of the seniors here actually utilize this for their senior design project. So I think that Purdue students actually get a few opportunities to investigate the benefits of unmanned flight. Well, specifically for 204 Lab, I think it's a great experience to get a basic fundamental understanding of different materials and how structures are incorporated into not only buildings but also how they relate to applicable uh, situations such as a fuselage of an airplane. These labs are very thorough and they really get down to helping you understand what exactly is involved when someone is designing a structure of something such as an aircraft or a spacecraft. So one of the reasons an aeronautical and astronautical uh, engineering degree from Purdue is so awesome is because it's so well known in the industry. Companies like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon recruit really heavily here and they consistently hire several undergrads uh, each year just because we're such a great program. I was fortunate enough to have three co at NASA Dryden Flight Research Center. My first rotation 
I worked in the aerodynamics and propulsion branch, working on evaluating the sonic boom properties of aircraft and trying to reduce those so that we can now have supersonic flight over land again. My second rotation, I worked in the operations and engineering branch, and I got to work on several projects, one of which was the Mars Science Laboratory project. This was great. They took the pod that they used on MSL to land Curiosity on Mars and they attached that onto an external field tank of an F-18. So we got to do flight tests and I got to be part of that and it was great to watch the landing. Very, very awesome. So one of my favorite classes that I'm taking this semester is uh, Intro to Flight Test Engineering. Um, and what's so cool about this class, we actually pair up, uh, there's a class for the engineers and then a parallel class for the aviation technology students who are pilots, right? And we'll pair up with them, they're like teams of four, three engineers and one pilot, and we get to perform actual flight experiments on the Purdue aircraft here, so we're flying around. Um, what's excellent about that is that we get the opportunity to confirm a lot of the theories that we've been learning for the four years that we've been here at Purdue. You know, it's a very traditional, and that's what I like about an engineering program, in that you're doing the derivations, you know, from scratch, from hand. Um, but to actually get that confirmation through experimental data of what you learned in the classroom is extremely beneficial. Uh, I mean, just the other day we were doing climb and glide performance type stuff, you know, and we're, we actually get to take the controls, even though the certified flight instructors there making sure we don't really mess things up. Um, and, you know, we're, we're doing these crazy ascents and descents and everything like that, uh, and it was a blast. So. I picked Purdue Engineering because it's got the greatest reputation for aerospace engineering. Neil Armstrong is an alumni here, first man on the moon. We are the only university with the greatest number of astronauts graduated from here, and our aerospace tradition is greatly intertwined with American history, so I think it's a great place to not only learn aerospace, but to be a part of American history. Uh, we are Boilermakers, and we go out and we make a difference in the world.